Welcome friends to One Stop Java Solutions. I am Sneasis and today I am going to explain you the important Java topic that is constructor. Okay. So what is constructor? Okay. Once you create a class and try to create an object of that class you should have to initialize the data member whatever you have write inside your class okay so constructor basically initialize an object okay once you create means at the time of creation okay and few things okay first i have to create one class okay so here i am creating one class new class and i am giving the name as constructor constructor okay and creating the main method okay so here i am creating another class suppose test okay and inside the test class i am writing int one variable something int number int int number okay and taking another variable float flt or if float number Taking two variables. Okay. So this. Okay, test is already defined. So you can write another test constructor. Test constructor. Okay. Class test constructor. So now, so I am uh, defining two data member inside that class so if i am trying to create object of that test class so test constructor suppose first object object one equal to new that class name so here if you execute this piece of code and uh, okay after that i am writing so uh, you can write private variable good programming practice both the variables as private and here just write the setter and getter method so go to source where is source source and then generate getter and setters okay for select all and click ok so i am creating the setter and getter method for these two variables now i am created the object of that class and if you now print the number one and the float number so if you uh, print uh, int num so i am copying from here okay print ln okay so these are the private so you cannot directly um, print this one so you have to uh, print the values of that ob uh, object one dot get int number and similarly you have to print the values of the second one object uh, ob1 dot get float number okay so if you execute this block of code and you can see the value of the integer is 0 and it's 0, 0.0 so how this default value so this is the default value for java integer is 0 and float is 0, 0.0 okay and if you write here uh, something uh, uh, something like um, character or other thing okay then leave it so you can test that also 
so here what happening while you are trying to create the object of the test constructor class okay so you can see that one constructor is already run so if you don't write any default constructor so by default java jvm will provide you the default constructor so basically how to write a constructor okay there is few constraint to write a constructor it has the same name as the class okay in which you are declaring the constructor okay you have to give the same name okay once defined the constructor it's automatically called okay once you create the object it will automatically call okay means before the means you are creating object using the new operator okay so new operator completes it will automatically call okay and constructor looks little strange okay because if you write here the constructor of that class so you have to just write like this way same name and it looks like a method but there should be no return type not even void okay you cannot write nothing you cannot also write void so contact so constructor should don't have any return type but method must have any return type if, if from here if you see there is no return type so that's why you have to write them void otherwise it will give you the error but for constructor you cannot write any return type okay and its name should be the same as class name if you write something else then it will give you the error so it should be same as constructor and default constructor should looks like this there should be um, opening curly braces and closing curly braces okay so in the first first uh, time before writing this block of code once you execute the code it will give the 0 0 and now if you exe execute the same thing so you also get the 0 and 0 and 0 so that means constructor is called and it means if you provide the default constructor no matter jvm will always if you don't write any default constructor then jvm will provide the default constructor instead of means on behalf of you but if you write the const uh, default constructor then your constructor will execute now inside this if you write int num int underscore num equal to suppose 5 okay and float underscore num float number equal to suppose 10 okay if you give this then you can see it's 5 and 10.0 so default values as it is a float so it will um, automatically 0, 0.0 will come it will convert the integer to float okay you have given here integer so it will automatically convert that i will explain that so it convert the integer to float and store it so using the constructor so that means here you can see while you are uh, creating the constructor means uh, creating the object so by default you don't you have means not for method you have to call it like object one dot get int number object one dot get float number so these are the methods so you have to uh, explicitly call these things but by default while you are creating the object of that um, class so by default constructor will execute so here you can see it is a default constructor automatically executed okay so default constructor automatically called and it will um, initialize the values and you also can write any number of constructors so here if you write the parameterized constructor okay and here instead of giving this if you write int x comma int y okay and here if you write this block of code so first here you can write x and here you can write y okay and um, this block of code and while you are creating the object you if you um, give means give suppose 10 okay 10 so now this uh, the second block will execute so these are the constructor overloading so uh, as per your calling values okay while you are creating the object where you are providing two variables so it will check if this uh, parameterized constructor 
it will match with this parameter is constructor and it will execute this block of code so default constructor will uh, in that case default constructor will not execute okay so in that way you can override the con override constructor as well so that thing i will come later so here means uh, you can any values at the time of object creation if you try to initialize with your data member so that you can pass okay at the time of object creation so this is the concept of constructor hope it's, you can understand the logic and this block of code okay so if you like my channels you can subscribe my channels and also you can um, see the link in the description box so you can go there and you can watch other videos as well and also if you like my channel or these videos you can click on the bell button so once i upload the next video you will get the notification so thanks for watching this video